Hi guys! Welcome back to another video. For those who are new here, I'm Ellie and you're watching Philippine Beauty. So for today, I have been planning, we have been planning to go out to the city and film another city vlog, a part 2 of that city vlog, but then it's raining and it's really cloudy and it's really dark outside and I don't think it's the best time to film a city vlog for now. As you can see, I'm supposed to be makeup and hair ready but yeah, that's for maybe the next 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 video or next video perhaps but for today i think this is going to be a very short vlog about caramel going to the vet and getting her checked because apparently we've noticed that caramel has been acting weak for two days now yesterday we gave her her favorite chicken but then she didn't eat it that's already a bad sign by the evening i tried to force feed her so that we could get her food down her system. I gave her dobo, which is also her favorite. So last night, at least she ate a little bit. So let's go now because caramel. Okay. So as I've said that the weather is not really good today, it's slightly raining. Talixik, if you may. Talixik. Like, it's like baby brain. <laughs> baby brain. I don't know the English of Talixik. I'm going to show you the mountains. Like the view in front of our house. See the mountains. There's no sun. It's all just clouds. So the heavy rain recently stopped. And we're left with baby Talixik. <laughs> oh, baby rain, I mean baby rain. Look at the fogs, they're moving. I'm here inside the house again. And this is Caramel's notebook. They're like, what do you call this one? Baby book. Baby book. Ah, so this is Caramel's baby book. Caramel. And then, um, these are all the vaccines that she has. <laughs> All the shots that she has. So Caramel is a survivor of Parvo for two times now, which is good. Come up. Very good. Mm, you like your dress? Mm. So here's my mom putting diaper on Caramel. Right, Caramel? Hi! Wow, diaper boy. Yeah, if you noticed, Caramel's diaper is a baby diaper, a human baby diaper. Because, if you did not know, dog diapers are very, very expensive. Um, the one that I found before was around maybe 40 pesos. One diaper is 40 pesos. Can you imagine that? How, how much is this, mommy? For three diapers? No, no? Three, four. How much was this again? Uh -huh. Only maybe 30 pesos. And it's already three diapers. Just, um, oh, she's size small. <laughs> she was a newborn and then size small now. Caramel, you're growing. Let's go to the Vietnam Mill Mill. So, this is the setup. This is the usual setup of how Caramel would ride the car. She's there, no? Facing the air conditioner here. She loves that. She loves that. Safety first. Wait, Caramel, I don't want to include you. Come here. Sorry, sorry. Come here. Okay. Very good, Dogu. So, as I've mentioned earlier, the weather is not good. It's starting to rain now. It's really cloudy today. We're almost there. Oh, we're actually here now. There. As you can see, pet vet. Yellow one, pet vet. We're here. We're going to park the car now. So we're here now. Let's go down. Let me wait. Okay, let's go down. Oh no, it's wet. No. No. 
sell a lot of um, vitamins, food, supplements and all that. Food. This is where they will wait wait caramel later. Oh, they have caramel now. Oh, no. <laughs> mm. Yeah, very sus na caramel is having her nails trim. Hi Kuya Soy. Tas na kaayo. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go from the dog clinic because we wanted to get food for lunch because it's already 12 now 
and I've learned something that I really want to share to you guys. So be this is actually like the first time that I brought caramel here in Kentkai and I did not know that you have to get this before you can bring your pet inside. So you have to get this. This is the passport pet pass. It's so cute. So in order to get this one, you have to bring your dog's vaccine or baby book. Your dog's book. The one, this one. You have to bring this one, this one, and show it to the customer service area, and then you will, they will give you this. You will also have to pay 100 pesos for this one. Whenever you come inside Limket Mall and bring your pet with you, you will have to let this be signed. This will be signed by the guards. The guard in charge. I haven't written Carmel's name yet, but this is the passbook. Oh, this is the passbook. So I didn't know about this one because whenever we bring caramel to SM downtown or to Ayala, there wouldn't be any problem. You can you can just simply bring caramel inside as long as we have as long as she wears a diaper. So here you have to you have to have your pet wear a diaper and also this one. So that's what I learned today. Okay, they have a different policy for your pet and also if you want to bring your the only malls that you can bring your pet to is SM and also Ayala and here in Lemgatkai which you will need this uh, Gaesano and Aurorama you can't bring your pets there so yeah I hope this helps Caramel she's sitting on the chair ah, babe bye very good baby why are you sitting like that Caramel? please show me again Cara. Cara. So here, Carmel and I also took photos. So hi guys, we're finally home and it's still raining. And here we got her nails clipped by yours truly, Kuya Soy Soy. <laughs> I've mentioned earlier that Carm we think that Caramel is not feeling good and she's been acting weak, weak for like two days now and that got us so worried about her coming home we realized something caramel is the type of dog that you know could get upset for a few days can act upset for a few days just because we punished her or like we tried to like correct something something that she wasn't supposed to do well the thing was two days ago she went outside well she went outside with my mom but then my mom was really busy with um, gardening and all that. But then Carmel decided it was okay to just go out and cross the road and then go to the other side of the road. <laughs> Me! Go to the other side of the road and I don't know where she went. One of our neighbors called mom out to, and told us that, hey, Carmel is out here. Why is she here? Unsupervised. And then my mom got so angry because Caramel was out there and she saw a lot of a lot of cars passing by and that made my mom so worried about her and mad at the same time. So then Caramel was punished and so she was upset for two days and decided that I will not eat for two days because I am upset. You know? Such just a regular spoiled dog. And so once we got to the vet, we bought we bought this things. This is her vitamins. There. We got we already have this before. We've, we've been giving caramel this before, but we got we finished I think two bottles already or three bottles of this. And yeah, we will be giving caramel this every morning. And also this one. So uh, we got this. This is a new one. Which I'm so excited to use actually because um, my grandfather has a lot of dogs outside and one of their problems is having a lot of fleas and so we bought this to help them with that issue and tomorrow I will continue this vlog and show you that whole process of spraying them and yes, killing all the fleas. So that's it for today. I'm going to see you tomorrow. Okay? Wait for me tomorrow, okay? <laughs> so hi guys, good morning! 
This is the next day of the vlog and as promised, I will show you how I give this to caramel and also the spray thingy. I'll be using that later. So here and caramel by thumbnail. 1.5 ml. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh. So the next one is this flea spray and I'm going to spray it like here on her, the back of her neck as the doctor instructed me to. So here, one, okay, and also here, and here, very good, very good, and also here, corner of her armpits, and then here, So the next ones are my grandfather's doggos. <laughs> See? Fleas everywhere. Let's start with this mama doggo. <laughs> Very good mama doggo. So this dog over here just went to our house and we don't know who the owner is. The owner is, and then this one is her baby. And we end up adopting her because she was pregnant at that time. So here, let's go and Okay, you too. Okay. Very good. Okay, let's go on to the next doggies. Doggos. So the next one is Coco. We call her Coco Melon. <laughs> she was dumped beside the road. And I don't know who the owner is, but she was left there. And then um, we decided to adopt her. So we took over here to give them a bug. Very good. This <laughs> just on the back because she's giving milk to her babies. Recently gave birth to her babies, and I'm planning to um add a few sprays on the baby too. More. Wait, more. Yes, there. No. Very good! Very good, Bor Bor! <laughs> so this is also another adopted dog. My grandfather took him in because uh, he was a really small dog and he, he used to have so many fleas and he looked so ugly when he was st still a baby. And he was a very noisy puppy so my grandfather decided to call him Rooster because of that. Rooster! Very good! Enough. Okay, so that's all. So that was it, you guys. You've reached the end of the video. And I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. And also, thank you so much for sharing your time with me. Please leave a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. And also, please don't forget to comment down below a dog emoji or even share about your pet stories down in the comment section below. So stay safe, thank you for watching, and I'll be seeing you in the next video. Bye! Thank you for the love and support! And these are the Bisaya words of the day. The first one is tambal, which means medicine. The second one is taligsik, which means raindrop. Third one is iro, which means dog. And lastly, we have itoy, which means puppy.